Hi, this is Jason from Elusive Disc. Today we're looking at some turntables and we think there are some out there that would be a really good choice for someone who's looking to get into a turntable for the first time. Now maybe you already own a turntable and you're not in the market for one and that's totally fine, but maybe consider sticking around for this video and maybe you can learn something from it. Now, when you're talking about a first turntable, there's some things you need to consider. Do you want a turntable that's gonna last you 10 to 15 years? Maybe you don't intend to buy another one? Are you looking for something more just to get started into the vinyl realm? and just want to pick out something and, and go from there. Are you looking for something that has a pre-installed cartridge like this one, where you get it out of the box and get it put together and you're ready to go? Or maybe you feel like you want to install it yourself and, and pick out something and pick out a cartridge, pick out a table and do the installation. What about aesthetics? Like how important is how a table looks to you? Is that more important than, than the size? There are tables that are bigger, tables that are smaller. There are tables that have a kind of a split plinth design. There are tables that have a really modern look. There's tables that have a classic look. There's, there's a lot to consider. So check this video out and look at some examples that we have, the tables that we really like, and maybe you will come to a decision today. So the first table we're gonna talk about today is the MMF 1.5. This is made by Music Hall. Music Hall has been around since the mid 80s and they are known for making a lot of really good turntables and things in the audiophile realm. Now this table is the MMF 1.5. So kind of as they increase their tables, they make them better, they improve them, they go up. So now we're at the 1.5. There used to be a music hall MMF 1. So Roy's definitely done some really good work making these things better as time's gone along. Now these tables are made in the Czech Republic. And there's a factory over there that makes tables for different turntable manufacturers. They do a really good job and this table here is no exception. So the first thing that I noticed when I looked at this table was a gorgeous real cherry wood wrap. Now, this is wrapped around some MDF and it's a really solid plinth. And when you pick this table up and mess with it, you can really tell that they've done a really nice job and the fit and finish on this table is beautiful. So a couple other things you get with this table, you don't always get with tables, is it comes with a dust cover, it's a hinge dust cover, which goes on the back here. We don't have it on for the purpose of this video, but it's got two hinges here, you pop them in, put the cover on, fantastic. The next thing that you get is a little 45 spindle adapter. So if you have any of those big holes, seven inch 45s, not all tables will provide that, but it's a convenient thing. A lot of people have those. Just put it on, put it on here, and you can spin up your old seven inch records and you don't have to buy a spindle adapter if you don't own one, which is really nice. Now onto the table here and some more specifics. So on the front, we've got this, the speed setting here. So you can go from 33 to 45 to 78. So this table actually offers 78 RPM. Not all tables do, but it's pretty convenient if you happen to have any of those. And if you don't, at least you have the option and maybe you'll buy some used copies and you'll be able to spin them on your table, which is really, which is really neat. Something else that this table has, again, that some tables don't, is on the back here of the plinth that has a, a micro adjustment for speed control. And why would you need that? Well, sometimes turntables that have motors, they can get off a little bit. And you spin this up at 33, it's probably been pretty darn close to 33 out of the box. But how do you know that for sure? Well, you can know it by listening to the records and hey, these sound pretty good, but maybe they sound a little off, you're not sure. Well, what you can do is you can spin it up and then you can put, the cheapest way to do it really, and what we recommend is to get an app for your phone. It's typically free. And what you want to do is you want to actually put the phone on the platter first before you start it up. And then it's got a real nice kind of rubber mat, which we'll talk about here shortly. And when you turn, turn it on, just want to kind of protect your cartridge and make sure it spins around. And then as it spins around, you can see from the app if it's running fast or slow, and you can make that adjustment in live time. So it's a, it's a pretty nice little thing that they have. Speaking of something else on the back of the table, there's a little switch back here. So this table has the option of running a phono out or a line out. So you could use this output stage as your phono preamplifier, and then you could run that directly into speakers that have a line level input. If you don't wanna do that and you wanna use a separate phono stage, you just turn the button over to line out and then you'll run that out and then it'll go to your phono stage. So there is no cables that come hardwired out of this table. So you just wanna run a pair of RCAs and we highly recommend you use the ground use a ground cable with it. And you can get a phono cable that has RCA out and it'll have a ground cable, but you wanna hook that up. Grounding your table as many ways as possible is good because cartridges and turntables can get ground level hum through them no matter what table you have, but that's something to help protect that. 
So other issues that you can have with turntables can be with vibration. So what has this table done to help mitigate that possibility? So what we have here is we have a really good platter. So this platter is an aluminum platter. It's very heavy duty. And in this price range, a lot of the aluminum platters that you might see will be about half this thick. So they've done a really good job. They made it an extra large platter for this table. And they provided a really nice, pretty thick mat. So this mat's something you definitely want to use. And by using, by using this mat, which is made of rubber, it'll help with those vibrations. And the way the motor works in here, there's a, there's a hole and it's a belt driven table and there's a pulley in here. So it's got a little belt and you put it on right there. And since the speed control is here, you don't have to worry about moving the belt around when you want to change speeds, which you do frequently on a lot of different tables. So speaking of the platter, we got the platter going. What else can help with vibration? Well, the feet, the feet are a very big part. So the feet can help with keeping the table level which is very important. So when you get a table set up for the first time, you wanna make sure that it's level. And if you don't have it perfectly level, you have the cartridge in the groove and it's not as it's supposed to be, it's not gonna sound right and it can damage things. You don't want that. But these tables and these tables feet in addition to that, will do a really good job of vibration. They're made of rubber, they're really heavy duty and they will help. Some tables in this price range will actually have three feet, but I really like the fact that this one gives you four and it just makes it feel really, really solid. And as we kind of move around and look at this table, we're gonna talk about the tone arm next. So the tone arm here, it's an S-shaped arm, which is pretty typical uh, in what would be an entry-level table, but it's an alloy arm. It's not cheap plastic. It's actually really, really nice. And so when you want to move it over, it's got it, you can lock it in place, which is really convenient in case you bump it. And you put it over there, and then it's got the lowering and raising mechanism over here. And so what you get is you get some pretty easy adjustments to make when you put the table together, kind of out of the box, which is, which is really pretty, pretty easy. There's pretty good instructions for that. As you set the tracking force as it recommends in the instructions, and you have an anti-skating adjustment here as well, just a little dial. And then it's got a stylus guard for the cartridge. So it's a nice little, nice little arm here, and it's set up pretty well. We're going to lock it back in place. So let's talk about the, the cartridge next. So this comes with a Music Hall Brandon cartridge. It's called the Melody. It's a $75 value and it's a moving magnet cartridge. So when you listen to the cartridge, it's definitely worth the price point of $75. It, it does really, really well. And the good thing about this design is it has a head shell on the end. And so a lot of arms you see will have just a normal kind of typical straight, straight arm and it'll have the two screws you mount the cartridge on the end. But with this, you can have a couple options. So when you need to replace it, you can just get a brand new complete head show on the end and you lock it in and you're good to go. As an alternative option, you could actually get a replacement stylus for this cartridge and you can just swap the stylus out and your table will be basically brand new as it was. And you could also get a different head shell on the end and get an upgraded cartridge, which is an option as well. So how much does all this cost? Well, we actually think this is a really good value and it comes in at $448. So for under $450, you can get a really awesome audiophile table and you can get into the market. And if you're looking for something that you can still hang on to, but something that looks really nice and sounds great, we think this Music Hall MMF 1.5 is a great choice. So the second table we're looking at today is the Project Debut Carbon EVO. Now Project's been around since the early 90s and they're really known for having a really strong passion about the audio industry and they make some really amazing things. And the last table we looked at, the music hall is made in the same factory that this table is made in. And it's not a surprise because it's just a gorgeous table. And it comes with a Simico Rainier cartridge pre-installed. So one of the first things I notice when I see this table is the absolutely gorgeous plinth. It has a really nice glossy finish to it. And we have this model here has this beautiful red and there are several other colors available. So if you do really like this table, after you watch this review, um, there are, like I said, multiple options available. So what are some of the things you get with this table? So it does come with a dust cover, and not all tables do. And the dust cover here has got it here. So very nice. We highly recommend you use the dust cover um, when, not, when not in use. Just keep dust off the table, keep there from being little accidents with the cartridge, which is very important. Another thing it comes with, which is a little 45 adapter for seven inch big hole 45s. And a lot of people have them and maybe you don't have the ability to play them because of, well, you don't have this. 
And it's just something they throw in and not all turntable manufacturers do that. So it's really nice that they think about that and they do it, which I appreciate. All right, so something when I, I first saw the table, it confused me is I didn't, didn't see where the motor was, like where you turn it on at, it's, where's the switch? So they wanted to make this a very nice and sleek design. So they have an actual power switch, it's under here. So they wanted to keep it focused on the platter and the tone arm and just its sleek design. So that's where they have that at. Now, um, when you turn it on, uh, where do you actually change the speed at? So uh, the way it's designed is you have to change the speed with the pulley here. And so you take the platter off, it has a nice sub platter. And you've got the pulley here and you have a small for the 33 and you have a large one for a 45. Looking at the platter, this is a very heavy duty metal platter. And it's really quite, it has a real quite nice mass to it, which kind of surprised me. It's got Ortofon's TPE rubber. So what that does is it actually adds quite a bit of mass to the platter. And so once it starts spinning, it kind of has a, almost like a flywheel effect as it spins and it just kind of keeps that running. So it makes it run really, really smoothly. And so it just has next to no vibration. It's very quiet and which is, which is great. So when you're talking about vibration, you want to make sure you have you know, no vibration in the system at all. It's, it can definitely cause problems. And so something else that this table does a good job of with vibration are the feet. So it's got really high quality feet on here and it does, based on their design, a great job of keeping vibration out of it. And another important aspect when you're trying to make it sound as good as you can is, is keeping it level. So these are leveling feet. You can set them up so when you're putting the table together and you have it all out, you just want to make sure you have this as level as possible. Not having it level will cause the cartridge to not be in the groove correctly, can cause wear and cause it to sound bad. And, and nobody, nobody definitely wants that. All right, so let's talk about this, this arm here. So this is their carbon arm, uh, which is a, a gorgeous looking arm and its design is really, really nice. And it's, you can see it's one piece here. And so we have the lifter here, uh, so you can put it down and take it off. And we always recommend that you use that. Don't just use this. This is what it's made for. It's got a really easy way to set your tracking force. So when you get the table put together and you get the cartridges already on there, you still have to set the tracking force. The counterweight does not ship on there. So use the manual and look at the range that it gives you for the cartridge. And you want to just turn this dial to the appropriate place and then it's going to track correctly. If you don't have it set correctly, if you have it set too light, record can skip and if you have it too heavy it can cause damage to the record and or the cartridge which which is not good all right so the other little adjustment that it comes with is an anti-skating right here it's got a little weight and it's hooked to a fish line and it's really the best thing to do this with when it's set up like this so there's little notches on the back of the arm so you can set it forward or backward to increase or decrease it as you might need to um, usually the middle is fine nothing's going to be crazy with the way that the arm is designed, so you should be fine with that, but it does have the ability to adjust that, which is very convenient. So the cartridge itself, this cartridge here is, is a really good cartridge. So it's a $150 value, uh, which considering the overall price of the table is a really good deal. And the cartridge itself is a really good sounding cartridge, it has really good sound staging, uh, really good depth. And the good thing about this is you can actually, when the time comes, let's say you had it for a while and you know you need to replace it, you can do a one for one replacement, you can swap it out for the same stylus, but you could actually do two different upgrades. You can go to the Moonstone or the Olympus stylus. And what you can do with that is you can increase your value of your table quite a bit by upgrading that cartridge. Um, and on the back here, we have where you put the dust cover, but it's got a, what we call a junction box. So there's no hard wire direct cable out of this. So what you do is you take uh, just an RCA pair and it's got a little ground lug. So we always recommend that you use a, a dedicated RCA phono cable with a grounding wire. And so you're gonna plug that in and then you're gonna put that and that's gonna run to your phono stage. And keeping it as grounded as possible is very important. Now the table does come with this cable, which is great. And so we definitely would use that and you could use an upgraded cable if you wish always use this ground and ground can get in the system through cartridges due to the low output of it and you definitely want to ground that as much as possible and you don't want hum getting into the system because it can detract from the sound. So we've kind of looked at this table and we've kind of said you know this table is it's pretty good what makes it better than the last table what makes it better than the music hall? Well what really makes it better is you a lot of you get that cartridge and the cartridge is great 
and that's a big reason why there's a price difference. And then they spend a lot of time, resources, and money in developing this platter system with, with Ortofon, and it's very, very smooth. So with their sleek design and the really good sound you get from this, it's really worth, in my opinion, the money. So for $5.98 for this, it's a really great deal, and I think you'd be extremely happy if you gave this a shot. The next table we're going to talk about today is the Soda Escape, which features a Rega 220 arm. Now, Soda, which stands for state-of-the-art, has been around a long time. In the late 70s, they started manufacturing turntables. They're really adored amongst older audiophiles, and they make just gorgeous products. And currently, they're manufactured in Wisconsin. It's a really nice USA-made product, and they feature a machine shop and a full working wood shop. So they have a lot of ways they innovate with their tables, which is really comforting to know and they're trying to make things better. And a fun fact you may or may not be aware of, in the series House, a TV show which isn't on anymore unfortunately, the main character had a Soda Comet Series 3 in his office and it was just a gorgeous looking table and it was just pretty cool to see that the soda being represented like that. All right, so this soda table here, uh, it's a really beautiful looking table and it comes in at $1,700 and it really gets you into a really nice audiophile table. And one of the first things that I noticed when I was kind of going through this table in detail is the unique looking plinth. So the plinth is a little uniquely designed. It has the kind of cutouts on the corner, uh, but really kind of talking about the matte finish. And it was really interesting looking at that, trying to figure out kind of what the story behind that is. And it's actually pretty interesting. So they make this from a material called phenolic resin, and it really is this recycled material. And what it does is it makes you a, a pretty light feeling as far as weight goes plinth but it's really sturdy, it's, it's very dense, uh, which is just kind of counterintuitive when you think about it, but it, they really did an amazing job with it. So I really like how, how they did it, and it's, it's fit and finish and how it looks, and it, it does perform very well. So to kind of go around this here, we've got this really nice platter. So this comes with a one inch thick acrylic platter, and you don't really see a ton of acrylic platters anymore, but I really think it's a good look for this table and just with its design, I think it fits in there really, really nicely. And we've got the pulley over here. We're gonna talk about this in a little bit more detail soon, but some of the things you anticipate on kind of higher end audio, audiophile tables is you're gonna have the exposed motor and pulley, uh, which we, we have here. And uh, we have these really nice aluminum feet. Now these feet are kind of brushed with this black glossy material and they look amazing. And they really have the, these little cups that they sit in the way they screw into the plinth here, they're leveling feet. So you can definitely make the table very level. And as we discussed, um, leveling tables, very important during playback. And these kind of audiophile tables, they tend to have these kind of nice spiky feet, which I really appreciate. So as we kind of go over this here, we have the motor. And typically you're gonna have a couple different sizes on this motor pulley, but we only have one. And you might ask why that is. Well, it's because they designed this little Condor power supply unit. And so what this does is it's an electronic speed controller as well. So it's an external unit and it runs, runs into this. And so the motor powers off of that and then you could set the speed. So there's no reason to change it from 33 to 45 as far as the pulley goes. You just do it on this and that'll take care of the speed for you. And it's a really nice external power supply and it's a good unit. And I kind of enjoy being able to set that without having to worry about um, changing it on, on there. It's kind of irritating at times to have to do that. So companies that think outside the box and come up with those ideas are, are great. So as we look at the rest of the table here, uh, this features a Rega 220 arm. Rega, again, a very well-known brand. Rega makes really good tables and cartridges, and they are very famously known for their arms. So this features this, the 220 arm, and it's got the, the lifter on here. Now, it does not have, kind of the other tables we looked at, has a counterweight where you can set the tracking force by dialing in with the numbers. And tables like this, higher end tables, aren't gonna have that. They're gonna expect that you own things like this, the stylus force gauge. So we highly recommend you get this table. You can install a cartridge yourself. We'll be more than happy to do it for you. But if you wanna do it yourself or have a cartridge, definitely wanna have a digital stylus force gauge. You can set that properly and not have to worry about. Um, in addition, this, this table does not have a dust cover either. Now, Soda does carry a dust cover for this, and these high, a lot of these higher-end tables, they don't want to add hinges to the back of the plinth. They just want to leave them kind of like they are, and you can add a, add a dust cover. But definitely recommend that. It'd be very good keeping it dust-free and trying to keep accents from happening to the table. Uh, in addition, the arm features a, a hardwired cable 
So you don't have to plug in any wires, it just goes straight into your phono amplification. So um, that's one advantage, not having to worry about buying extra cables for the table. So we've kind of covered the look of the table, kind of the functionality. So who's this table, who's this table for? Well, really it's for, for someone who wants to experience more of a higher end analog sound. And it has a really good sound to it. Uh, it has really good depth of sound stage, really good resolution. I uh, really enjoy the separation. The vocals are, are outstanding on this table. Um, one other advantage too is, is Soda has this unique program where they have a lifetime trade-in. So if you decide to get this table, and down the road you want to upgrade to something else. So all you need to do is contact Soda, and if you want to contact us, we'll be happy to help you out. Contact Soda and say, hey, I'm interested in getting something else, and they will take back your table and trade. And that value is you know, going to be determined at the time you go to do it, but it's comforting to know that Soda stands behind their products and that if you want to continue in their line, they're going to do whatever they can to help you out. So if you want to invest in this table, I think it's a really good choice, and like I mentioned before, we'll be very happy to help you out with the cartridge and we can recommend something for you. Uh, so, so check it out, and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. We're, we're here to help. So our final table today is the VPI Player Turntable. Now this is made by VPI, and if you don't know, VPI is an American company. They're based out of New Jersey. They're a great company to work with. They're there to answer the phones. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything. Um, now they're really well known for making tons of great turntables and they're constantly revamping their line working on ways to improve things different materials different design um, they make record cleaning machines as well and so they're really high tuned in the audio world uh, doing what they can to improve things and so we really like really like their products and in fact i like this table so much this is the one that i bought now to be fair mine's a different color and it is at home but this table is is really great nonetheless so looking at this table one of the first things I liked about it was just a simplistic design and what it all what it all accomplishes. So what you get with this table is a lot of flexibility and a really good really good performance for the price. Now this is the most expensive table we looked at at 2200, but based on the fit and finish and the things we're going to go over, I really do think it's worth the money. So with this table, what you get is you get a 11 and a half inch aluminum platter. And that's kind of the standard size of their platters and they go up to 12 inches on some of the other tables. And these tables now feature a 300 RPM motor and some of the earlier ones featured a 600 RPM motor and VPI has gone away from that motor. It just it caused too many vibrations and the 300 RPM motor runs so much smoother um, and it just does a, an overall a much better job of speed control and they really made a good choice of swapping that out. So the plinth itself, it's an MDF plinth and it's wrapped in, and like I said, it comes in different colors, but it's a really, it's a really sturdy plinth. Build design, very, very robust. So on this table, it's got feet here. You can see them very well in there, but it's got some rubber feet and the rubber feet do a really good job of keeping the vibration out of the table. And they are leveling feet, so you can make sure when you're putting your table together that it's nice and level. And one very nice added benefit of this table, and you can probably see it here, is power buttons on top, but it has a little volume knob here. Now this volume has nothing to do with the actual volume of the table while it's playing, but what it's for is there's a headphone amplifier built into the table as well. So it has to take some mini jack, so it won't work on a quarter inch jack, it has to be that little eighth inch jack. And if you're listening late at night, or if you wanna just not have it so loud, or your kids are sleeping, or your spouse is sleeping, you can plug headphones into there then that's when the volume control comes in so you can turn it up as you see fit you know, to the volume you need and that'll give you some flexibility if you want to listen um, late at night the table really is known for kind of being an all-in-one thing so it's got this as an all-in-one and it also has an onboard phono preamp as well so that's really designed for someone who wants to be able to use this as their phono stage run directly into speakers which is what i do at home and I really like that about the table. But not only did they leave that in there, they also give the option of bypassing that. So in order to do that, you have to remove this part on the back of the table. And then there's two little jumpers inside. You just have to move them over one each. It's not very difficult to do. We've done it several times here for testing purposes, but that will allow you to bypass it. So if you have a, a really nice phono stage and you don't want to use this one, you certainly can use that one instead. We also have this gimbal tone arm. So, They've kind of gone away from their unipivot designs. 
Um, they've gone to this gimbaled version and then the, the gimbal bearing just has a much better feel and the unit pivots just feel kind of, you know, kind of really fluid. They just, just don't feel real, you know, real solid, but these definitely do. So with this design, it just, just moves really smoothly. And when you're going to lower it down, you definitely use this Q device here. Uh, and then again, it has the counterweight on the back. But if you're buying this table, kind of as you see it here, it does come installed with this Ortofon 2M Red by default. And this is a $100 cartridge, and the cartridge is upgradable. You can replace the stylus with the blue one if you wanted to get something a little bit nicer. But VPI does have a lot of cartridges available. We can order it for you with a lot of the cartridges that they, that they offer, and we can get them installed with anything that we have here. If you're looking at a specific cartridge, maybe you own your own cartridge and you want to get one and have us put it on there for you, would not be a problem at all. Who's this table for? Well, it's definitely for someone who wants to be in the mark for a really good audiophile table. And if you want something that's American made, that's built really well, that sounds really good, this is it. The sound on this is, is amazingly good. And I really enjoy just the overall sound stage you get from this. Uh, the amount of resolution you get is fantastic. The headphone amplifier in there is really good. So headphones sound, sound excellent too. And VPI just stands behind their, their product. I enjoy this one myself a lot. I own it. I use it all the time and I really recommend it very highly. So in conclusion, I think this table is a really good value and I like all the things that come with it. Now, if you got this table and you go to unbox it, I feel like it's, it requires not a lot of work, which is really odd considering a lot of the tables I put together. I feel like it was really easy. In the bottom of the box, you're just gonna find the platter and you're gonna find the plinth on top of it with the arm already on there. So it's really as simple as getting it out, you know, putting the platter on with the belt, plugging it in and you're good to go. Now when you're plugging in, you may notice that you're missing cables. Now it does not come with any phono cables. And again, that's pretty typical of, of tables in this price range. So you will need to get some cables, which will need preferably to have a ground lug with them. And a VPI sells their own brand and you can use another brand, but definitely wanting something that has a ground lug with it. So you can put it on the ground nut here and then on your phone stage. Um, that way is to keep it grounded as much as possible. Another thing it does not come with is a dust cover. Again, pretty normal, but there are aftermarket covers out there that are, that are available. Definitely recommend you use a dust cover just to keep everything safe, keep the dust off of it and keep your cartridge in good condition. So we looked at four turntables today and turntables that have different things about them that have different advantages, different areas of flexibility. If we start at the kind of the beginning, we looked at some tables that didn't have a lot of options to them as far as swapping your cartridge, and everything like that. Now you can pick a different color, but a lot of those uh, audiophile, more entry level tables are gonna have an installed cartridge by the factory, which isn't a bad thing. It's nice to have them out of the box and, and you know you're gonna be good to go. And some other tables give you that ability to change it out to something else that you want and give you more flexibility in the kind of things that you're looking for. And kind of as we go on those higher end tables, you might notice some bigger platters, some better materials, some nicer arms, and that's kind of to be expected. So when you're picking a turntable, those are the things to consider. Now all four tables we looked at actually did have something very unique about them. The first table, the music hall, it had an elect, uh, speed control from the back. You could fine tune your speed if it wasn't quite right. Looked at the second table from Project and it had no power button on top. They put it underneath to, to be very sleek design, which I really like. The soda table, it had the speed control over here with a little condor that will set the speed for you, which is very nice. And here this VPI player has a headphone amplifier on top so you can plug in your headphones. You can find, no matter the table you're looking for, there are certain advantages to them. And we do offer multiple tables and they'll probably have something unique for you as well. And so let us know what you're looking for. We'd be very happy to help. Uh, if you liked this video, please check out the rest on our channel. The link is in the description below. I appreciate you stopping by and checking this video out today.